All right, we got to talk weather. First alert weather with meteorologist Jeff Ray because yeah. it is feeling like fall, but we're on that roller coaster, Jeff, where it's yeah. 80 and then maybe 90. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's going to warm up uh, every day, uh, at least till Thursday. So you're going to start feeling what's happened to fall. But get out every morning because fall is around in the morning. Now, it is getting a little warmer. Your average high, your typical high this time of year, the climatology would say the high would be 83. The low is 62. Of course, weather is what you get, and 85 is the forecast at high today. So it's just slightly above average. But we're getting warmer from there. The record high for this day is 106. This is a very interesting day in weather history. Back in 1951, the record was set for 106, which happens to also be the hottest October day ever. It's also the, the last 100 degree day that's in the record book. So what I'm saying is that starting tomorrow, DFW has never hit 100 degrees. That's after a summer where it hit it 47 times. So thank you for that. Uh, the current dry streak at DFW is now 30 days and we don't have rain in the forecast. You know what's unusual about that? The wettest month of the year is typically the month of May. The second wettest month is October. And it looks like the next chance of rain is somewhere in the middle of October and probably the first chance of rain we have for the month. Next three days dry and next three days temperatures ramping up 88 by Wednesday, but cool mornings, warm afternoons, a little bit of an air pollution problem. OK, so last Monday, the United States got hit by Hurricane Ian. This Monday, Orlean hit Mexico and it was a category two hurricane just as it approached. It's now category one. It's onshore, 75 mile per hour winds doing damage at the coastline. And next two days not going very far. And that is a problem given the geography of where it came on shore. This is the west coast of Mexico. And if you've ever been out there, the mountains start pretty close to the coastline. And they're talking about a foot of rain. So this could be some serious mudslide situation, serious flooding. Now, the only thing Texas gets from this is the cloud cover and you can see it's from Austin on down and uh, if you take a look out down to the south you might see that high thin series from the hurricane. This is what remains of Ian. It is still spinning and bringing big rains in the east coast and that is causing delays at both at Lovefield and at DFW, but DFW is saying 70 total delays right now. We are tracking two storms, by the way, out in the Atlantic. Hurricane season is not over, and this one right here has a chance of getting out into the Caribbean, so we'll, we'll watch for that. Seven-day forecast, all we're watching is sunny skies, hazy conditions, a cold front on Friday, breezy, but a nice weekend. We like the breeze, Jeffrey, thank you.